o'clock. Myra, thank you. An upstate woman is out of jail tonight after being charged in a jet ski accident that injured two people, including a child. WYFF News Force Mandy Gaither with our report tonight from Oconee County. According to the warrant, officers believe the suspect was under the influence during a jet ski collision here on Lake Kiwi. This is exclusive video of Sherry Darlene Barron turning herself into a DNR officer at the Oconee County Law Enforcement Center Wednesday morning. Moments later, she went before a judge on a charge of boating under the influence with great bodily injury for a crash that happened near Cane Creek Landing on Lake Kiwi on Labor Day. The collision critically injured one of Barron's friends and hurt a 10 year old girl. Both victims are still recovering. It took 10 days for officers with the Department of Natural Resources to charge Barron. First Sergeant Ron Weingard says they had to determine who was at fault. When you work a boating accident, you have to get there. Everything's floated off or it sank in the lake. So you have to look at the witnesses. Then you have to get the jet skis and put it all back together, so it takes a while. Weingard says alcohol out on the water is a big problem, and so is knowing the rules. On a jet ski, the driver has to be at least 50 feet away from anything in the water unless it's at idle speed, and can't jump the wake of another boat unless it's 200 feet back. Moments after her bond hearing, Barron walked out of the detention center. Anything you want to say, Sherry? No, ma'am, she has nothing she wants to say. She was able to leave on a $10,000 PR bond. If convicted, Barron is facing up to 15 years in prison. Mandy Gaither, WYFF News 4 in Oconee County.